Hey folks, welcome back to my channel, Pilot Fun 101, and my name is Chris Lee. Well, just like the last video of Oshkosh update I did last week, everything I said in that video came true. Oshkosh 2019 Air Venture that the EAA puts on with over a thousand volunteers was again a hit. Over 500,000 people showed up and over 15,000 planes. So Brian and I left uh, Saturday morning, J July 20th, at uh, 3 o'clock in the morning. We get down there, we got into a little bit of a hold because we had massive arrivals, uh, but it was fine. Uh, we landed, unfortunately, we could not stay with the Comanche Town, with Comanche Town Group um, because it was a little bit flooded from Friday's rain that we had. So I feel bad for Brian. They taxied him down all the way down to the South 40, which is nice down there. But we put us through mud, uh, puddles, um, uh, soaked grass. The prop wash just blew all the mud underneath the bottom of the airplane, and Brian was not happy. But we're in an adventure, you know. It's unfortunately things happen, and we took care of it. We cleaned it up. So tied the plane down really, really well, and sure enough, downpour for about 45 minutes. Uh, we got into a little convenience store there and hung out there about 45 minutes to an hour. We got out, set up our tents, and it was a second front coming in, and um, that was a lot of wind. And I got that on, on Facebook. Uh, the picture of it, and uh, they actually came over to loudspeakers with a tone says massive storm coming in with uh, possibly 75 mile an hour winds. Please seek shelter. Now, uh, hmm, I got two tents over here. I guess we can kind of buckle down into, and hopefully we don't fly away. Um, so that's what we did. But when you hear that, we look at each other like, okay, we have two tents and a Comanche 250. What are we going to do? Hopped in the tents. Everything was tied down pretty well. The storm came through with a lot of winds. I don't think it hit 80 miles an hour or 75 miles an hour, but it was fast winds and uh, it rained. But so they closed the departures for Saturday. They closed the airport down, I should say. And they also closed the airport down for arrivals. I'm sorry. Arrivals Saturday and Sunday. The FAA cut it down because the ground was too wet, too saturated. The planes would have sank into the grass and it would have been a bad day for a lot of pilots. So they decided, you know what, no arrivals Saturday, Sunday. The Saturday they had the arrivals of the big tire guys, um, but that was fine. And then the rest of the week was just amazing. Sunday dried everything out. Monday was amazing. They opened everything up. And again, folks, another great air venture experience for me. You know, and there's a lot of family. And sometimes if people say, ah, it's, it's so many people, is it safe, is it not safe? That's the safest event you can think of um, with so many people. Uh, I have not seen, I've walked 40 miles, as per my phone, on the health app. Um, and I've walked over 40 miles and I have not seen one police officer. I did see military, some military that were armed because they were guarding their aircrafts, but nothing crazy whatsoever. And safe, you know, no one's involved in drugs. Uh, there was none of that going on. There was no fights going on. No, no uh, bad behavior uh, and no assaults and stuff like that. It was safe for families, safe for anybody to go there. I've met pilots around the world who said, oh my God, this place is the safest place you can be at this time of year. Um, and it was amazing. Everybody talked to each other. No one's better than anybody else. I had a great, great, great time with the vendors. Um, it was awesome. I got to shout out U.S. military. Guys or gals were awesome. I mean, they had a lot of airplanes there in their show. I put some on Facebook that couldn't get, you know, the others because they're on the other side of the field. They have to walk about 400 miles, it seems like. Um, so I didn't get that. But I got to tell you, God bless them all. God bless their families. God bless the, uh, the military because those guys are awesome people just doing a job. And you know when you when I walked into their helicopter, it's the, the two-engine helicopter. Where the back goes down. Uh, it wasn't the biggest one. It was the medium-sized one where they kind of jump out of the back of them. And you're walking through that helicopter, and you see these seats lined up on both sides um, where they can jump out of, or the, the, the helicopter gets down into the hot zone and lets everybody out of the back. 
these poor guys are sitting there, you know, armed up, ready to go, jumping into harm's way um, because what we have them doing and they're supporting and protecting the United States and they're protecting a lot of countries around the world that can't afford their own protection um, that they do. So think of all what they do and I really appreciate what they do for the United States, what they do for other countries and what they do around the globe really. And I, I can't picture myself um, doing that kind of work. I mean, I could do it if I had to, if I signed up for it, I would do it. Um, I've done work like that, just in a, the police department kind of atmosphere. Uh, but, I, you know, they're in a little helicopter and they're jumping out of it and right into harm's way and, and hopefully they make it home. And God bless them and their families. And God bless our troops, you know, male, female, whoever does this kind of job. Thank you. Well, we really appreciate it. And I know the majority of the Americans Thank you so much for what you do for us and around the world. And thank you guys for showing up. You brought more planes this year. You guys were involved in the air show a lot more than the previous years. And thank you so much. And thank you for the military. Um, you guys do a great job. And you know what, folks? Think about it. Take a second out of your day, whatever you believe in. And you say to yourself, you know what? If it wasn't for our military, we would not be here in this environment. We wouldn't have general aviation pilots. We wouldn't have the freedom that we have. We wouldn't be able to walk down the street without getting tormented. You know, it was it's so much things that they've done over the course of many, many, many decades that makes the United States the best country in the world. And I am so proud that I was born and raised in the United States because I would not want to be anywhere else but the United States you have so much stuff going for us. No matter what you believe in and not believe in, we have the best military and we have the best things going for us. And I really, really think that is my opinion. And thank again for the military. As back to Oshkosh, you know, folks, over a thousand volunteers put this together for us, you know, and you know, you go through the, to, to the uh, air event, I'm sorry, the EAA um, museum and you see the history of the airplanes and how the Wright brothers built the planes and what's going on and sometimes you don't think about oh my god there's an airline pilot but we don't we a lot of us don't realize you know in that moment that they were all general aviation pilots everybody you can think of from the astronauts who fly the space uh, shuttle to airline pilots um, to anybody who's flying for, for the military they all started out small in small planes GA planes probably a Cessna 150 152 172 probably a Cherokee 140 um, and all that fun stuff and here we are you know years and years later flying 747s and so on and so forth and it's amazing because everybody started out as GA pilots and if it wasn't for GA pilots or the GA period we wouldn't have all this again stuff everything's a ripple effect and it's amazing going through that museum and the volunteers folks I mean you got to think about it it's not just a week they're volunteering they're volunteering throughout the whole year with the EAA to get this all together for us I mean the vendors were awesome um, the volunteers were awesome I met people who were there for a year first year five years ten years up to 40 years I met some guys who've been volunteering for this um, and of course Air Ventures been around for now 50 years it was the 50th year anniversary and I got a free hat um, because of that they were giving them out and um, awesome so great time you guys have to do it next year the Mooney is heading out to Air Venture and uh, Brian his Comanche will be following well I'll probably might be following him it depends how fast he goes and how fast I can get up to uh, but my plane typically flies 145 knots so it's pretty decent compared to his uh, but that's what's happening next year. Um, and I also have to say, you know, I met, you know, for the last three years at the Red Barn, I met, this, met the same people every day at the same time in the morning with coffee, of chit-chatting about a lot of things, old timers, and it was awesome. I put out on Facebook that I'm handing out free shirts that I'm wearing um, in the back, you know, and um, it says, uh, uh, I seen on YouTube, and I was surprised at how much people came out. Um, and I didn't realize I'm a little, little tiny guy 
it's just over a thousand subscribers. I'm, you know, I'm just trying to put stuff out there so people can see the basic 101 of aviation, how easy and how much fun you can have. And people came out, and I was surprised. I had 45 shirts. I had about five left. I saved some for a couple people who inquired, who couldn't make it to AirVenture, who still follow me, and I'll mail them out to them. Um, but I was actually surprised uh, that that money, that much people, that many people came and got free shirts for me. I guess it's a free shirt when I get it. But they also had great things to say about me, and that is awesome because I'm, you know, a small guy, just trying to make a little bit of a difference with people who are involved in aviation and who want to quit because it's too something's going on and they get discouraged because they hit a couple bumps or they get discouraged because they don't know how to or, or feel that they can't talk to ATC for some reason. And I'm trying to get all those basics into my videos, not just flying IFR, not just flying into into towered airports and big towered airports, not just, you know, doing that stuff. I want to show people how the basics of aviation, anybody could do it. Uh, whatever your dream is, whether it is aviation or something totally different, you got to follow your dreams. And that's what I'm trying to do. And I'm very, pretty cool to see those guys talking, uh, talking to me about different things in my videos. And I'm surprised, folks, that I got 75 over now, 7,500 people following me on Facebook. Um, that's just amazing. I don't know how that even happens, but it does. <clears throat> Again, I'm not really into all this stuff, like uh, 100%. I'm just putting some content out there to help everybody, and I'm, it's just kind of getting bigger and bigger as I go along here, which is great, which means it's working and I'm helping people out, especially the guy in Texas. I mentioned my videos uh, months ago, uh, who was 62 years old, didn't want to get his license, he felt discouraged, that was 40 years ago, he wanted to have his license, he found some of my video on YouTube, was watching me, emailing back and forth, long story short, after 40 plus years of wanting his license, he finally got his private in February of this year, so congratulations again. And I sent him out a t-shirt, uh, which is awesome. That's what I like to hear, because I can keep going and editing videos, because it is a lot of time, but when you get emails like that and you see what's going on, it makes you want to keep going. And thank you so much for doing all that. Okay, folks, you know, next year Oshkosh is coming around again. It's how long do I have to wait now? Oh, 364 days. I'll see what I can do, I gotta have to wait. Um, but thank you again for EAA. Uh, thank you for AirVenture. Thank you for all the volunteers who put this together throughout the year. It's, remember, folks, it's a huge event, over 500,000 people. Thank you, EAA, for making this a safe, awesome environment for family, friends, aviators, non-aviators, uh, having all the people there to support general aviation. And thank you for keeping the, the gas price down low when you fill up that AirVenture awesome time thank you guys so much thank you thank you to the military who showed up thank you to the bands who showed up and the you know the airlines United United Airlines showed up with the women's volunteers and, and uh, UPS showed up in her 747 thank you all for really participating in GA pilots we really really appreciate the great time that you guys put out and all the time you put in to make us have this much fun once a year in a safe environment thank you so much Right, folks, if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe to my YouTube channel at Pilot Fund 101. Um, you can hit the, red uh, hit the bell and you get automatic notifications every time I upload a video. And you can follow me on Facebook. Apparently, that's doing pretty well, over 7,500 followers on Facebook at Pilot Fund 101. And if you have any questions, no matter what it is, I like talking whatever you need to talk about, pilotfund101 at gmail.com. I will get back to you. It might take a little bit, uh, but typically I get back to you on the same day, depending on what I'm doing at work, um, and get back to you guys. But until next time, folks, I have a lot of editing to do. <laughs> I took so much video and so much content, and I, I, I don't want to make it boring of the, of the same thing going on in AirVenture. I'm going to try to put some stuff together, hopefully make it exciting for you. Um, but it takes time, so I'm going to do a lot of editing over the next week or so to get that out there to you. But I'll be flying my own plane very shortly and more video coming. And thank you guys so much. But like always, fly safe, be safe. Until next time, see ya.